Hey everyone, it's Neon Polygons, and today I want to do a quick video on an original iMac G3 and using it in 2021. So as you can see here, it's pretty cool. Um, this is the DVD slot loader version, and this was released in 2000. Um, I actually had it upgraded to Mac OS X. Uh, normally, most people associate the iMacs with um, Mac OS 9, and I was able to upgrade this because of this, um, you know, this Mac is like one of the, is basically the last version to 10.4.11. So I believe that is OS Lion. Um, other than that, uh, this iMac has aged relatively well, as you can see here. It's in pretty great condition. It has... Its body is near perfectly, you know, flawless. Everything is like working great on it. Now, the only problem with using an iMac this old, unfortunately, is, well, there's not much you can really do on it. So I mainly had it kept around for like a lot of older video formats. Um, and that is because in here, you'll notice that it has Firewire. And that is the main reason that I keep this iMac is because for a lot of older media that I have that I may need to access, um, you know, while there is easier, while there is more modern means of kind of accessing FireWire, for me personally, I have a lot of like old iMovie files. And so this for me actually allows me to access them in it's like the most native format on the original iMovie 04, I believe. So here I am loading in a DVD. Let's see. Yikes. <laughs> that barely loaded in. Let's try that very gently. Okay. <laughs> loaded in, but that was kind of scary at first. I don't want to lose this DVD. So let's see how it loads up. What happens? Does it play? at all, anything. Oh, yes it does. And there is a DVD player on this Mac. So let's see how it like looks in its playback. Oh, so this is cool. I guess I can set the region drive uh, when I first uh, set my iMac. And I believe uh, this is an an American DVD, so this is DVD Region 1, so let's try it out. And it sounds amazing. So wow, that's pretty cool. I didn't realize I could change uh, the DVD region on an iMac. Shit, had I known that, I should just turn this thing into a region for European and Japanese DVDs. So as you see, I'm playing Hollow Man. Playback looks amazing on this, actually. Sebastian, do you have any idea what time it is? Da Vinci never slept, said it was a waste of time. Who's that? Not your business. So, um... That's pretty much the only use I have for an iMac G3 in 2021, uh, practically 20 years later. Now, for me personally, I really love the design of the iMac, as, as many of you who are probably watching this video are. Um, but functionality-wise, there really isn't much, again, as you can do uh, in the year 2021. There are 
uh, a few cool things that I guess from a display standpoint you can use your iMac for. Uh, personally, I guess you know you could use this as a jukebox because iTunes will work on it. But depending on uh, your your iMac, you may actually have problems like logging into the internet. So the issue is, you know, even though you may be able to get on iTunes or use iTunes, importing CDs may be a, an issue because you won't be able to access Grace Note via the internet. And you know, for me, I have an issue with my AirPort that's on this iMac. So unfortunately, if I want to import CDs, I have to like manually put in all the information, which can be quite tedious. Um, Safari, unfortunately, is going to have a really hard time getting on the internet uh, or kind of rendering any any pages um, at this point. And with iChat that's available on this computer, I'm not really quite sure if it will be compatible with any of the iMessages. Probably won't be, <laughs> to be honest, but I, I highly doubt it will be kind of compatible with any messenger apps that are still uh, in existence right now. Uh, primarily, again, the main use that I have for this iMac is for iMovie for accessing older Firewire files. And I guess you could say using iPhoto for importing old photos, but you know, I, you know, you can pretty much still import them using more modern means on current Macs. Well, uh, this wasn't really meant to kind of, you know, show anything about the iMac. This was really just meant to show that, you know, what it looks like in 2021 and the latest that you can upgrade it to. And again, I'm showing that I'm upgrading to uh, Mac OS X 10.4.11. Um, this Mac specifically had a 450 megahertz power PC processor. So it was a relatively good machine and it's aged quite well. Uh, you know, you could do word processing on this, but really other than that there there's not much more you can do internet wise uh, with this kind of iMac in today's time but it is a cool centerpiece it is a cool talking piece uh, it is kind of weird knowing that there's a whole generation of kids who don't know what this thing is uh, and this is really kind of the genesis for what made Apple what they are today so with that said uh, I kind of just want to know your opinions uh, what do you guys think about having an iMac G3 in 2021? Would you kind of like to have it in your home just as kind of like a cool talking piece or maybe a cool display item? You can, again, get it up to date to OS X. So that is like a nice thing. It, it In a way, like it will look as modern as current Macs, but there's not much more you can do after that. Anyways, this is Neon Polygons. Thanks again for watching and catch you all again soon.